If I don't want to use these uh, layouts, but I want to draw uh, my plan from scratch, I click on Draw Plan. Uh, now I am already in the interface of the wall management, and here I have the tools to draw my walls. First of all, I click on Par, so I can set the thickness and the height of my walls, and then I click on the red point, I enter the orthogonal mode, okay, and now uh, pay attention to the position of the first wall, because I always consider the interior wall dimensions, okay, so with the tab from the keyboard I can move my wall, uh, if I uh, uh, draw my, plan, my walls in clockwise, uh, the right position should be this, okay, because if I start from here, let's see what happens, uh, for example now I enter the length of this wall from the keyboard, for example uh, 4 meters, I press enter from the keyboard, and now if I move down, as you can see the two walls overlap, so the dimension of the first one uh, won't be three, 4 meters anymore, but uh, 3 meters and 800, okay? So this is the wrong position, okay? Now, let's delete these walls. I press delete from the keyboard. Uh, Right-click to deactivate the delete function. I press again on the red point. I press tab from the keyboard, okay? I enter the length from the keyboard, for example, 4 Matters, enter, and now as you can see, uh, the wall is already in the right position, okay, for the uh, interior wall dimension, considering that. So now, for example, this could be one meter and 500, press enter. Also, if I go uh, to the right, the position is fine because uh, this would be wrong, but this is correct, okay, so this wall. Uh, has to be uh, two meters long, and then uh, if I uh, you, uh, if I use the the mouse wheel, I can zoom, and if I press and hold press the the mouse wheel, I can move my my layout. Uh, so now let's go on. For example, um, here I could have another wall of three meters. Press enter. Now, uh, if I want to change the thickness, uh, with the right click I can deactivate my wall. I go again on PAR, I change the thickness, press OK, and now I click on this corner. As you can see the wall is, the, is in the wrong position, so tab from the keyboard, OK, this is correct. Now, uh, if I don't know the length of this wall, uh, I can use the parallel mode, so I click here. Then I click on this wall because I want that uh, the new wall um, uh, uh, has to be parallel to this one. So I click on the black line of this one, one click, and then I can also click here, okay? Uh, and in this way now I can close in with a, uh, an orthogonal wall my, uh, my layout, so I click here. Okay, uh, right click to deactivate the parallel mode and another right click to deactivate the, the wall. Okay, now let's create a, a partition wall. Uh, starting from AutoCAD version 2021, you just have to click on the starting point, for example here, just one click and automatically this mask will appear from which I can choose the distance from the left or right corner, for example, uh, the distance here, here is 2400 millimeters. I press enter from the keyboard and then I can just click inside the final wall. In this way, AutoCAD will cut automatically the partition wall properly. So, but let's say that we have an auto square partition wall. In this case, uh, again, one click on the starting point, for example, this one. I enter the distance from the corner, for example, 2600 millimeters. I press enter from the keyboard. And now 
I won't click inside the wall but on the black line of the final wall in this way the mask will appear again and from here I can change the distance from the corner for example uh, 2400 press enter and in this way I've created my auto square partition wall